This is the dawn of a new era in British karting. Over 550 drivers in 12 classes competing for victory over 18 race weekends. This is the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. I'm Jake Sanson and Junior X30 is not far away as the drivers prepare for the second televised final of the season. But first, let's catch up with frontrunner Josh Rowledge on what looks likely to be a prosperous weekend. So I've been racing with Strawberry Racing for about two years. They've been quite loyal to me. Uh, I think we work well with the team manager, Steve Armstrong and uh, Paul Spencer. I feel like I have quite a good con uh, connection. So I, I think I, I want to get a, definitely try to win the final and just urge. It's quite early season, so I try to get some good championship points. Serenetti in pole position from Josh Rowledge in second, then Oliver Behrman and Tom Edgar, Oliver Gray and Archie Walker, Alex Lee, Georgie Dimitrov, championship leader is eighth, then Reggie Dewey and Aaron J. Walker ahead of Aaron Walker and Sam Shaw, it's a cracking start, and it looks as though it's a perfectly clean one, Serenetti leads, Rowledge trying to hold off Oliver Behrman through Cafe Corner, Edgar sliding around, Oliver Gray trying to get up the inside, Archie Walker dueling with Georgie Dimitrov side by side. And it's a cracking start as they go up to Stratford Hepburn for the first time. Is everybody going to make it through without incident? And no, there is not. It's going to be, I think that's Tom Edgar who's gone out wide. Tom Edgar has gone wide and has ended up several places down the order. Reggie Dewey's been impeded as well. He's not gone off the circuit, but he's lost several places. So a very tricky start for a couple of the drivers in the mix. But out in front, it is the three we thought it might be. Serenetti, Rowledge and Behrman that have broken clear with a little bit of a breathing space at the front end of the field. But it's Rowledge who leads Behrman. Serenetti down to third. Then it is Oliver Gray in front of Archie Walker in fifth position. Tom Edgar, Aaron J. Walker, Aaron Walker and Sam Hawthorne. Oh, there's contact further back. Problems as Bolger comes together with the 11. And it's a very badly damaged cart for Kasper Skuza, the pole. There's no way he's going to be able to keep going. The cart is so badly damaged at the back. It looks as though the axle is bent after contact with Bolger. So two or three carts came together. And unfortunately, as Bolger rejoined, he just caught the side of Kasper Skuza's cart. And it looks like both of them could be in dire straits. Bolger appears to have got going again, albeit down at the back. But Kasper Skuza, there's no way he could finish the race with the cart crabbing like that. So Rowledge, Behrman and Serenetti at the front. Archie Walker down to six now behind Tom Edgar. And that's a bold lunge on the inside from the 51 of Sam Hawthorne. Caden McQueen's making good progress. He's up to ninth place now. So Caden McQueen still battling forward. But out in front, Serenetti's got the move on Rowledge. As to as Behrman. So Behrman is your leader. Serenetti second. Rowledge down to third in front of Oliver Gray, Tom Edgar and Archie Walker. With Aaron Shea Walker trying to fight his way further forward. Down to the breaking zone for the hairpin as Kasper Skuza appeals into the pits and retires. No major surprise there with the damage he sustained. What a shame for the Polish star. Behrman still hanging on in front of Serenetti as Oliver Gray tries to get on the inside. And now Rowledge is going to force the issue on Serenetti. Rowledge through and Gray through as well. The battle continuing through Cafe in the midfield. Lots of great racing and lots of great talent. But not all of them are going to have a positive day at the office by the look of things. Some of them are still struggling for positions. But Behrman leads Serenetti. Then it is Oliver Gray in front of Tom Edgar. Josh Rowledge down to fifth. And here comes Archie Walker. Archie Walker's going to try and make his bid now from sixth position. As up the inside, Tom Edgar's trying to make a lunge on Oliver Gray. Josh Rowledge trying to get his way back on the inside of Edgar. Little bit of a rub there on the inside. He can't quite get the move done, though, because Tom Edgar is going to now have to let him go. Rowledge gets the move on the inside line and takes the place. Now Archie Walker's going to step up the attack on Tom Edgar. Meanwhile, in the midfield, Reggie Dewey sliding around there with the 34 of Tom Leban as they continue to dice. But out in front, it is Serenetti now in the front end of the field. Behrman is there in second position. And there's a big tussle behind. Gray, Rowledge, Edgar... Archie Walker and Aaron Shea Walker, seven of them in a line with Serenetti at the front end of the pack. 
And this is going to be an absolute barnstormer. A major squabble all the way through. We've nearly had five minutes and it feels like we've been at it for at least ten. Absolutely terrific racing. So, Oliver Behrman still all over the back of Alessandro Serenetti. Edgar closes up on Rowledge in the braking zone. Behind this lot, in eighth place, is Caden McQueen with support from Aaron Walker of Strawberry Racing. So there's genuinely a chance for those two still to get back into the action. It's not done yet by any means. Now Behrman is back through. Serenetti's going backwards down the order. Behrman's got through. Gray's through. Rowlett through. Edgar through. Archie Walker through. And Serenetti finds himself down in sixth position. That's how the momentum favours one over the other. All it takes is one move on the inside line and it all changes hands. But down the straight, Josh Rowledge is hunting the men in front. Oliver Behrman is your leader, Oliver Gray second, not for long, there goes Oliver Gray, he takes the lead. Behrman in second now, Rowledge, Edgar, Walker, Serenetti and Aaron Jay Walker. Down the straight again, down Stratford, up towards the hairpin and Behrman's going to get a move on the inside of Oliver Gray. He gets through, Rowledge gets through and through goes Tom Edgar as well. Now Archie Walker is going to line in behind his teammate Oliver Gray, he's going to support him. And Alessandro Serenetti and Aaron Jay Walker are not far away, but they keep squabbling, which means that Caden McQueen and Aaron Walker for Strawberry Racing are catching them at a rapid rate of knots. They are catching ridiculously quickly. It looks like it could be a nine-car fight for victory very shortly. Down the straights, Oliver Behrman hits the front. Josh Rowledge gets on the inside line. So Josh Rowledge gets to the lead of the race. Tom Edgar now through to third past Oliver Gray. Archie Walker is in fifth place. Lots of great squabbling in the juniors as there's overtakes galore all the way through the field. But Oliver Behrman now hits the front as Josh Rowledge canters back down to fourth position. I can't keep up with it. Oliver Behrman in front of Edgar, Gray, Rowledge, Archie Walker, Serenetti and Aaron Jay Walker. Then Caden McQueen and Aaron Walker for Strawberry. They are charging hard and closing up. So they're going to get into position once again. Out of the corner. Oh, that's Behrman on the inside. Defending from Oliver Gray as Tom Edgar holds the line from Rowledge. Archie Walker trying to get through. Serenetti and Aaron Jay Walker being held up. And Caden McQueen absolutely rubbing his hands with glee. Down to the hairpin. And yet again, the lead looks set to change. If not, the midfield, uh, the middle of that pack is set to change. Behrman in front of Gray. Then Tom Edgar in third position. Josh Rowledge still very much in contention in fourth from Archie Walker. Alessandro Serenetti. Aaron J. Walker's got Caden McQueen all over the back of him now. Watch for Caden McQueen. He's the danger man in this battle. He's been fighting his way back through the field all weekend. And now he's in the winning fight. So the leaders come through again. Behrman in front of Gray. Third is Edgar. Then fourth position, that is Josh Rowledge, a massive tank slap, but Caden McQueen is on the inside of Aaron Jay Walker, and that puts him through into eighth position. No, sorry, seventh place. One now behind Alessandro Serenetti, as Oliver Gray makes his bid on the inside of Behrman for the lead, and he gets it. Edgar goes through, Rowledge is going to try and get through as well. Behrman, he's absolutely resolute, you're not getting by. Hard problems for Behrman. Looks as though Rowledge has ended up, well, I don't know, it looks like there might have been a little bit of a nudge there in the Bruno chicane. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it certainly looks as though there's been a bit of a rubbing incident into the chicane. Now, if that's the case, then someone's going to get a front fairing, and that's going to come back to bite somebody later in the race. But Oliver Gray's your leader. Edgar on the inside, and through Rowledge gets on Behrman. Then it's Caden McQueen. He's up to fifth now. He's got past Serenetti, past Archie Walker, and now he's on the back of Oliver Behrman. So Oliver Gray is defending valiantly in the lead of the race from Tom Edgar and Josh Rowledge. Rowledge is still pushing hard. Caden McQueen's up to fourth. He's made the move on Behrman. Caden McQueen is absolutely charging through this field. Meanwhile, what's happening with the championship leader? Well, Georgi Dimitrov is down to 11th place. If the race finishes like this, Caden McQueen is going to tie Dimitrov for the championship lead. If he makes up one more place, Caden McQueen becomes the new championship leader. Hence why he's charging forward. As Tom Edgar tries to hold off Rowledge, Rowledge gets through in a second, in behind Oliver Gray. So Gray's your leader, Rowledge second. Then it's Tom Edgar from Caden McQueen, Oliver Behrman and Archie Walker. The rest of the field now struggling to keep up. Difficulties with the tyres by the look of things. So seventh place is Aaron Walker in front of Aaron J. Walker. Then Alex Lee, who's up to ninth place. Then Dimitrov, Levin and Serenetti. 
down the back straight and Oliver Gray actually has some decent advantage now over his rivals as the drivers are still battling away for position Blake Anglis and Max Mir getting very close together and Douglas Bolger getting back on both of them so here comes the leader Oliver Gray into turn one and Rowledge back on the inside of Tom Edgar gets second position once more Katie McQueen in fourth position will be loving all of this now Georgi Dimitrov He's down to second in the Drivers' Championship as a result of all this. Serenetti's going backwards. Serenetti's got a problem. Serenetti's falling down the order. Big style. Definitely something wrong with the cart. The man who started from pole position now finds himself down in about 21st position. I think Serenetti is going to be bringing the cart in to retire. He's lost so much time, so much pace. Something's not right. What a shame for Serenetti. Pole position is now a distant memory. We've still got five and a half minutes to go as Rowledge charges after Oliver Gray. Behrman is back into fourth place. He's got back past Kader McQueen. As up the inside, Dimitrov makes the place on Aaron J. Walker. Now that, I think, means that McQueen and Dimitrov are going to be tied for the lead of the championship again. That's how close it is. And Serenetti continues, but he is going absolutely nowhere. Tumbles down to the back of the field. But Serenetti down in dead last. I'm not sure what it is, but something has definitely gone awry. What if he's got a slow puncture developing as Josh Rowledge gets onto terms with Oliver Gray. He's going to make the move for the lead into Wilkins. Just about hanging on to it, though. Your race leader is still Oliver Gray, but Josh Rowledge isn't going to wait around. Gray holds the inside line. Rowledge can't get through there. Edgar's going to try the switch back out of Cafe, but Rowledge is ready. For Oliver Gray on the run down to the Stratford hairpin. And Gray knows that Rowledge is going to be there. Rowledge dives for the inside line and takes the lead. So Gray is going to run wide down to third. Maybe down to fourth as Oliver Behrman gets through on the inside. Kader McQueen gets through on the inside to fourth position. So Oliver Gray back down to fifth. Alessandro Serenetti comes in and he's got a puncture. That's why. Right rear puncture. What a shame. Alessandro Serenetti's brilliant day is over. Well, now the leaders continue on their way and out in front it is Rowledge, but he's got pressure from Tom Edgar now up to second place. So Tom Edgar is now the man of the moment trying to force his way through. But what a battle this is turning into up front as Rowledge holds the advantage, but Tom Edgar wants a piece of it. And up the inside goes Behrman. Oliver Behrman goes in a second place. So Oliver Behrman gets the move on Tom Edgar and that puts him in a second position, nearly into the back of Rowledge. With a little bit of support from Tom Edgar, goodness me, Oliver Behrman nearly into the back of the race leader. That was how fast they were catching him. Dear, oh dear. They just about bailed out of that one in time. But now we've got a real race on our hands with just three minutes on the clock, roughly. A few more seconds to add on. So Behrman all over the back of Josh Rowledge. Katie McQueen still fourth behind Tom Edgar. Oliver Gray and Archie Walker are still in the hunt in fifth and sixth, where they started the race from, in fact. Archie Walker goes the long way round to get a decent switch back as McQueen. Oh, that's Tom Edgar on Behrman. He gets through to second. McQueen through to third. Oliver Gray trying to get through to fourth. Behrman doesn't let it happen. There's a little bit of contact, but it looks as though Behrman's got away with it. Dear, oh dear. They are so close to the limit on that corner. So now up towards Wilkins and back down the home straight comes your race leader. For the moment, it is Josh Rowledge. He's got so much pressure from the Ulsterman in second place. Tom Edgar pushing very hard on the back of Josh Rowledge. Then Kane McQueen set to become the new championship leader by one point. But Georgi Dimitrov has been playing the long game and now his tyres are a little bit better spent than some of the others. So he's going to try and pick off some places. Dimitrov's not done yet. Outside the top six, but he's gaining ground rapidly. Rowledge, Edgar. Behrman makes a move on the inside. Archie Walker has to give best to his teammate, Oliver Gray. Now there's a proper squabble for fourth place. Behrman, Gray and Archie Walker. Great to see Archie Walker as a permanent fixture at the front end of the field. The young McLaren DNA youngster definitely proving his might here this weekend at Shennington. Now Josh Rowledge is really having to work to keep Tom Edgar at bay. Edgar is losing patience. He wants to get the move. Down to the hairpin. Rowledge again protects the inside line of the hairpin. And here comes Kader McQueen. Watch out, boys. McQueen's going to be on you like a ton of bricks. McQueen on the inside of Edgar. And now it's Rowledge versus McQueen. 
from last in time qualifying. Kata McQueen is now in second place in the final. Anything can happen from this point on. He's going for Rowledge on the inside and takes it. Brilliant bit of scrap between these two. And still they duel. But Kata McQueen has had to back out of it again. Rowledge is still protecting the inside line like crazy. Kata McQueen still going for it with a minute to go on the time. So McQueen went for the inside line. Rowledge round the outside held on. Difficult for me to pick that one up, unfortunately. They just disappeared from view at that stage. Round the outside. Josh Rowledge now getting some pressure from McQueen, Edgar and Oliver Gray. They're all in the mix. And who's that up to fifth position? That is Tom Levin. Tom Levin has come up to fifth. He's now in the mix. As McQueen tries to get on the inside of Rowledge. Rowledge shuts the door. That looked like McQueen had his hand in the air there. So he's not particularly happy with Rowledge's defensive tactics. And they've got an official down that back straight watching every move. So here comes Rowledge again. McQueen still trying to find a way through on the inside. Watch for Tom Levin though in fifth position. He has looked after his tyres beautifully. And he's out into, P into P5. He could still get a podium here. Round the outside. He's going to go deep into the braking zone and get a switch back on Oliver Gray. He's not quite going to make that one stick. But Kayden McQueen's got Tom Edgar all over the back of him as he tries to get back through on Josh Rowledge. Rowledge is really struggling for grip. Kayden McQueen doing a great job in second. Can he get through? Up towards Wilkins. No move on the inside just yet. Still trying to make the move as they come through the turn. McQueen having to settle a second for the moment. But there's one more big chance. Last lap. Here we go. And Josh Rowledge has got a massive job to keep them all at bay. McQueen second from Edgar, Gray, Leban. Then it's Behrman in front of Dimitrov and Archie Walker. So Dimitrov is now brutally close to getting the championship lead. But Kata McQueen wants the race win. Here they go. Side by side nearly. McQueen trying to get on the inside of Josh Rowledge. He's not going to get there. Now he's got one last chance. He backs off of Bruno Chicane. Gets back on the power. Rowledge is going to hold him to it. So what can McQueen do? Round the outside of Hangar. He tries. Tom Edgar is in the mix there as well. They come down to the headpin. I can't see at this point. They're going to have to try and come back off the turn. Is it going to be Rowledge? Yes, it is. Josh Rowledge hangs on. What a drive. Josh Rowledge, victorious when it matters. Oh, that was so tight. But Josh Rowledge, like a brick wall, hangs on to the victory. There is no way through for Kata McQueen, but he is the championship leader now in front of Georgi Dimitrov. And what a shake, the handshake that the two of them afterwards, a fair fight between Rowledge and McQueen. That's brilliant. In fact, Dimitrov got back a couple of places on the last lap. So now McQueen and Dimitrov are tied for points at the top of the standings. That's how close it is. Josh Rowledge and Kata McQueen first and second from Oliver Gray on the podium. Tom Edgar is fourth from Oliver Behrman. Georgi Dimitrov fights back to six. Tom Leban, an impressive seventh place. Really good work from him. Almost had a podium on the last lap. Archie Walker in a fine eighth place in front of Aaron Walker and Aaron J. Walker, just to confuse you, in the top ten. Eleventh is Alex Lee from James Walker. Then Josh McLean and Tyler Reed. Freddie Spinlow is 15th from Joe Taylor. Doug Bolger and Sam Hawthorne. Then Sam Heading and Daryl Taylor. Reggie Dewey struggling this weekend from Sam Shaw. Max Meir and Jamie Mead, Blake Anglis and Ivan Lomliev. Then Will Murdoch and Marcus Littlewood. Zach Meekin and Charlie Cole from Drew Davidson and Kalai Atkins. With a big, big problem for Alessandro Serenetti. A puncture putting him out of the race. And Kaspar Scusa on lap two uh, retires from the race with massive damage to his cart. Uh, after unfortunately tagging Doug Bolger in the middle part of the race. Josh Rowledge shows true character to defend for a brilliant win, but Caden McQueen takes the championship lead in second, with Oliver Gray a valiant third position. Uh, it was a good race. Josh did really well to hold it. Caden with, uh, with a good race from farther back on the, in the grid. Um, yeah, it was a good race. Uh, had a great race with Josh, and uh, Josh done a great job at defending, but yeah, we uh, come home second today. Yeah, it was good. Um, uh, I made up some good places at the start. Um, I got shuffled back, but um, kept kept my head cool and managed to get to the front with um, two minutes ago and just kind of defended. I think um, I scored 
good points, and I'm just uh, trying to keep really consistent. 